So I'm here today for a quick little update. I've done some things off camera and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did and my plans for the next couple of weeks, which is mainly the fender flares and I'm pretty happy to start those. I'm still not quite too sure on what how, how I want to do them. I think I'm going to do them the way that I was going to do them with the other wheels, but not the way I did it the first time, if that makes sense. So anyways, just right now, a couple hours ago, I finished, I, I modified the brackets that I had made for the wing and they look better, a little bit more clean and I mean it still looks pretty hack job but I think it definitely looks better. We'll go ahead and take a look. But here it is. I mean it's just the, the main thing is I made this gap a lot closer than it was and I don't know I just brought this whole thing down and I, I kind of made different mounting points but I still use the same brackets so it's still all wavy and shit and kind of nasty but anyways looks a little bit a bit cleaner I think I might not have as much angle as I did I think that it kind of is almost a tiny bit up or at least more than I would like for it to be, but I think it's okay. I still need to make new ones of these winglet things. I think these are awful, especially with this fake carbon fiber shit. And then, oh, and then I got this as well. This was actually my plan. I don't know if I ever explained this to uh, you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this wing, and I'm gonna have it attached to the trunk, and I'm gonna have kind of like a, a uh, I wanted to do it like the GT3s, uh, the Porsches, where it kind of has like the wing inside of just the the wing uh, uprights. So it's just going to have like a little bit of like a ducktail within these uprights, but it's going to be attached to the trunk. Uh, I probably won't be able to open the trunk at all. But that's fine. I mean, I, I don't ever really need to go in there, and I normally don't put anything in there because, I mean, frankly, I don't drive this thing, you know, to like work or anything I never need to carry anything in it and then even if I did it's like someone could just pop it open I mean I don't have any kind of a key or anything it just pops open right here so it's like someone could just pop it on their own anyways but moving on um, kind of cleaned it out a little bit in preparation for the fender flares uh, I mean I'm not I haven't gotten super serious with preparation for it yet um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and maybe I'll kind of bring you guys through what I'm doing on the first one and then I'll do like a true multi-part tutorial once I know what I'm doing with one of the other flares uh, most likely after I already know what I'm doing after I do the one or a couple of them anyways and then finally figure out what I'm actually going to do for the fender flares because who knows it might just be like last time I might just start this and then just quit and then do it differently I don't know We'll see. I just want to do something that is going to kind of flow and look the best. Um, not really too sure with the way I want to go with this car if these type of fender flares or over flares or over fenders are the way that I want to go. But we'll see. And um, oh, big thing. I also might be getting a new light bar along with other LED lights to kind of flow. The whole reason I got rid of the light bar in the first place was because, I mean, I kind of have these uh, kind of more vintage, this it's all loose, but kind of more vintage uh, lights here and then in the mouth. And it's just, it, it didn't really flow with the car, but I might be getting uh, an LED light bar along, same size, different company, along with uh, headlights and that little uh, fog light and so it'll kind of flow finally, but I'll still be able to have the light bar that a lot of you guys are actually quite mad that I got rid of. Um, but, I mean, I kind of liked it. I kind of didn't like it, but I think it looks cool and it's different, or it was different at the time anyways. Now a lot of people have it, but um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put that back on there, and we'll see how it goes with uh, the rest of the lights and everything. Not 100% sure on that yet, but make sure to make a video on that as well. Um, along with that, oh, and then I yesterday I beat the living crap out of the inner fender, and I have so much clearance now. I haven't gotten to drive it yet. I mean, I just drove it like, you know, whatever, 20 feet into the garage. But uh, even then, uh, it should be good with them. I, there's no way you guys are going to be able to see, but there's like at least like an inch and a half of clearance all the way around, and for when I turn. So even like, I mean. I made so much clearance. I literally took the biggest, heaviest kind of hammer I could find. It was actually an axe, and I took the back of an axe and literally as hard as I can, 
and beat the living shit out of the inner fender. So that was uh, fun. Um, and now I should have clearance. I don't really want to drive it too much without an alignment, which, by the way, uh, I do plan to take this to an alignment shop just to kind of see the reaction, see how it goes. Should be kind of funny. Um, definitely going to do it just because so many requests and I want to do it myself personally. I think it'd be pretty funny to see people's reaction to it. Um, and then even though I know that they're not going to be able to just because they're probably not going to take it in the first place. Even if they did it, you know, it's too low. There's no way they'd get it on the rack. And then once they saw my modified out outer tie rod ends, there's no way they would even touch it or give me any kind of a receipt or warranty or anything, especially if it was a legitimate place. And if I went to like a, a place that specifically does like modified cars, like, um, what's the place called? Cartoon is a local place that a lot of people go to around here. It's right behind Pan Auto. A lot of people know that place. But local place that does a lot of modified cars and they do alignments and they can definitely do it for me. I don't know that they would give me a receipt or anything, but we'll see. I get a lot of I, I got a lot of work done on the CRX by them. They've always done super good work and s insanely quick. I, I can't believe how quickly they get stuff done. Um, and not for too bad of a price. That's that's actually a main thing. I'm not a huge fan of Pan Auto though. So anyways, definitely going to get the fender flare started super soon. I don't really need anything else to do besides take it around the block and make sure it's not rubbing too much. And uh, after that, I mean, I've got the height, ride height set up how I want it. I mean, how as best as it's going to get anyways. Some of the questions you guys have been asking that I'd like to address, and I don't know. I, I thought I've talked about this before in previous videos, but why my taillights are broken. I mean, that one's kind of broken, but I, I didn't break that one all the way. This one was actually already broken. I got these taillights with the old eBay Drift Miata, and I swept the taillights that were in this thing into the eBay Drift Miata, but then the, these, these were tinted, but then my friend tinted his front turn signal lights, so we swapped rear tail lights so that he wouldn't have to spend the time and I just took the stock ones put them on the eBay Drift Miata and then I took these and put these on here because what I'm going to do is I was going to do this anyways I was going to break this off or somehow get it off but I mean this works anyways and I was going to do my custom tail light panel which would have required me to take this off anyways um, pretty simple I just plan to kind of cut out a piece of metal that's going to go around this and around here and then I'm going to do my own design of headlight we're still using the stock housing and then I'm going to do the rear uh, finish panel and it should be unique um, kind of cool different and uh, kind of fit the style of the car one last thing is I got like I mean for the past like three videos I got so many people asking me where I got these sun visors from Please realize that they are just screwed into the stock one and they don't use the stock mount at all. Um, but they they are pretty nice. I like them a lot. They, they kind of get loose here. So it's kind of annoying, but they are nice because you have such a limited view. And for taller people, I mean, this thing is in some people's line of sight. So it's like, this is pretty good. So you can still see out of it, but it definitely blocks out all of the sun. And I'll go ahead and put the link to these in the description on where I got them. And I would definitely recommend them just because for taller people, I'm by no means tall. I'm like 5'11 or something, which is maybe taller than some of you guys. But I mean, there's way taller people that drive Miatas. Definitely good for taller people. And then, or if you want a little bit more of a unique look. Yeah, same place I got these mirrors here. And I think some other things. I'm not really too sure. Anyways, I'll go ahead and do the, put the link in the description for the sun visors. And I think that's all you guys really been asking. I mean, I'm sure there's been something else. I'm not really too sure. But, anyways, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Peace out. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what? One more time.